All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you the top five best bank fishing spots at Markland Dam. So not everybody has a boat. So I'm going to try to track down these spots on foot to make it easy for you guys to find these spots. And our first spot we're going to go to today is the Indiana side. And this is the public fishing area. Parking lot here. And you're going to fish this whole uh, rocky outcrop. All this riprap is public fishing access. All right, first public fishing area, a bunch of steps. I hope you have put your hiking boots on or your tennis shoes. It can be kind of rough getting down here, but it can be worth it as well. All right, so here she is. We've had some rain, so the water is moving. But this is this is the first spot on our list and as you can see it's a rough one but a good one I'm gonna take you over here in the corner and this is actually the hydro it's electric hydro by Duke Energy that's why the water is so turbulent in there right now But if you can catch this place just right, when the water's just right, it can be a really good day of fishing. Healthy fish right there, fellas. Good and healthy. You throw him out live, man, that's perfect. So the next public fishing area is just a parking lot down over here at this at Markland Park. And there's more steps. We'll walk down these steps and I'll show you guys spot number two, which we call the beach. Here it is, we'll head down here to the beach. It's much easier access to get down here. There we go. Much easier. Starts getting sandy, smaller rocks. I wouldn't worry about rolling an ankle over here at this spot. So here's this public fishing area and it is one mile of flat beach you can fish very nice this is where the majority of everybody's going to fish at it's it's definitely worth checking out i want to just get around the corner here at the beach Show you guys a little bit more of the spot before we move on to spot number three. Here we go.
All right, guys, welcome to the Kentucky side of Markland Dam. We're here at a little pull off at the beginning of the trailhead, and I'll take you down to spot number three. Let's get down there. All right, now we've made it down to the lock side. And there's good bank fishing access here, a small creek, a little point over there. But here's the worst spot about this, the part about this spot is the, uh, there's heavy barge traffic, but sometimes you'll catch it. The river just right and there won't be any barge traffic at all. But I'll walk you down through here. And we'll take a look. You see people fish down here a lot. And the next, there's another spot actually just around this corner. We call it the cove. So let's get over here and take a look at that. So instead of navigating these rocks to get over to the cove, you can go around and there's a trail and a concrete. There's an old boat ramp that comes down here. Uh, just go around it and you'll be at the cove. All right, so here is the cove. It's gonna be a shallower spot to fish. And the water is up, so you can walk another 20 yards out when it's at pool. But here it is. And then you can gain access all the way up downstream to the tailwaters on the Kentucky side. Just walking down through here. Let's get out of here and go check out our next spot. So now that we've made it, there's actually no fishing in the lock or the lock approach. There's a little sign up here that says. So we like to come down here and fish off of this little point here. And you can access the mouth of the creek. It makes like a little current seam down here. But yeah, overall this is a pretty good spot that not many people know about. Peace. Let's try to get another. There he is, guys. Finally a decent blue. All right, guys, we are at spot number four on US 42 on the Kentucky side above the dam. So let's get down here and check this one out. All right, so here it is. We are above the dam in the deeper pool. At the approach of the lock and this is really deep water here really deep water and a pretty good place to fish and very nice bank access we've even got a little fire pit right here but yep this is it this is really the only spot you can get to here just this little bank access. The rest of it's all weeds and stuff, but another great place to fish.
All right, guys, spot number five for bank fishing is actually not at the dam. It's just right above the dam, and it's a place we call Craig's Creek. It's a place we go to get all of our bait, shad, carp, uh, moon eye, skipjack, anything you can think of. We come up here and use rod and reel or cast net to get our bait before we head down to the dam. And it's on the Kentucky side as well, just right above spot number four. So let's get up here and check it out, and I'll show you guys around. All right, guys, here we are at spot number five at Craig's Creek, and it is a giant tributary. I'll try to show a photo on Google Maps or something. But yeah, we usually come down to all these marinas and docks and throw our nets or take the boat out and uh, try to get on bait fish before we head over, over to the dam. So I hope you guys can check this place out. It'll save you some time on catching bait and more fishing down at the river. Jumbo sheds. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. And if you want to see a bonus spot, check out the link in the description or I'll put a title card up here for YouTube and you can go to this spot. It's a mile down on the Indiana side on the beach. You have to walk that far or boat access. But it's the first creek, first creek a mile down from the dam and you won't miss it and you won't regret it. So check out the video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. See you guys later.